Now this is my daughter's and I saw it and I just had to borrow it to use it in a display because it matches my McKenzie, if I can get it over here, it matches my McKenzie child pieces perfectly. Isn't it beautiful? Look at all the detail work. Now this is an inspired piece. It's not from Mackenzie Child, but you can tell somebody put a lot of workmanship in this piece. Look at those beautiful teapots and teacups. Beautifully done. And of course, I love the blue background on the teapots. That all the teacups and saucers do not match. They're all different sizes and shapes and it's so beautiful. I really, really love this piece. Just wanted to share it with you. Now, I wanted to get the real thing, but for whatever reason, my daughter didn't understand me and she got these beautiful, inspired Mackenzie Child plates. So, um, I'm not going to get the black and white Mackenzie because they're expensive and I already have these and they don't look bad. It's just, I wanted the real thing. So I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy uh, some blue ones also that are going to be from Mackenzie Childs and I'll just do every other table setting, one black and white and one uh, blue and white. And this here is also not a Mackenzie Child runner, but it's very, very nice and high quality and it's very large and it was very expensive. But um, anyway, I wanted you to see they do have the different colors and shades running through it. Like Mackenzie Child. There's just sort of like the blue and the green and uh, a lighter grays and darker grays. And uh, I'm sure it will look fine with the pieces I have. And uh, I'm going to buy the blue ones and there's a lot of blue in these plates. Now this is also not a real thing either that my daughter got, but this is hers, not mine. So I just wanted to share these beautiful sets. Now I only got a set of two because, you know, Grandma does tablescape for two. I don't do tablescape four and six as a rule or eight. And I have a small house and I'm perfectly happy with it. You can also see it's trimmed out in gold like McKenzie Child does. Like I said, it's inspired, it's not the real thing, but I'm still happy with it. And we're going to be using it a lot in the next couple of from now on. Now this is another table runner. This is not a uh, Mackenzie Child, it's another inspired. Looks beautiful as you can see. Really, really love it. And love how it's finished off. And you can see it has a lot of yellow and blue in it. And it's very similar to the plates that I already purchased and these are inspired also. So they're going to work together with the real thing also. Because you know, Grandma does have some real Mackenzie Childs now. And I'm planning on buying a lot more in the future. But I just wanted to share with you that there are other things out there, other options if you want to do them. Grandma's going to try to get a few inspired pieces. And you can see I have two sets um, for my tablescape for two. But I couldn't believe how beautiful this one was. I was really happy to get this. The colors are so vibrant. They photograph so beautifully. This is one of my favorite pieces, even though it is not a real Mackenzie Child, because it is just beautifully, beautifully done. It's going to inspire me to try to get this piece from Mackenzie Child. Right here, this riser, it is beautiful, or, serving tr or you can use it for a serving tray. They have the bigger one also. I don't know if I'll buy the bigger one or not. I have a limited space, as I keep telling you. It would be nice to have the bigger one. Then I could put a smaller a pumpkin on the bigger one. But we'll see. 
I will have to wait and see what I'm going to do. How much money Grandma can put together for this year for Mackenzie Child Collection? Another one of these inspired Mackenzie Child runners. I can't believe they actually had Mackenzie Child on this one. Well, I thought it was a. Uh, maybe I should look and see what the tag says. It looks like a very good copy. Um, also, I want to share the background on it. Won't that look beautiful in my French displays? Also, I cannot wait to use that in this, and this will make a great runner for my tees. Also. Look at all the beautiful collections they have. This will match perfectly with everything that I have and I'm collecting. Like I said, I only have one teapot so far, but you know, my collection is just starting. But this is beautiful. Well, I turned it over and it doesn't have any manufacturer on the back of this table runner. But you have to admit, this is a beautiful table runner. I don't know where my daughter picked it up at or ordered it from. But this matches everything so perfectly that I'm doing on my channel now. And you will probably in the future start seeing some of these pieces in my collection. Probably like the creamer and sugar I will probably end up buying. I don't own yet. I may buy the small teapot, I don't know. Now I don't want to get the big one because even the little one is very heavy. These are very good quality pieces and there's only me and grandpa. Uh, this is a beautiful piece here and I may buy a couple of those because I like keeping all my stuff near my stove and I'm using flower pots right now and I'm not unhappy with them but this really looks gorgeous. So eventually this may be something I may buy two or three of them over a period of a year or two. And that's another great thing about Mackenzie Charles. They keep their patterns and you can order them down the road. You don't have to buy it all at once to make sure your set is complete. And here is like just a regular teapot and I might buy that because I do a lot of teas and it would be a great piece for my tea collection. I have never seen this piece and I don't think I thought they made them. Maybe I need to look a little harder. That's a great thing about Mackenzie Child. There's a lot of stuff you're not even aware that's out there. Well, we'll see if I can find something like this. Well, I just wanted to share all these beautiful things that you can buy uh, that look beautiful and believe it or not, these table runners are all three really good quality. I was shocked by the quality of these. Like I said, I don't know where she bought them, who she bought them from. They were online, I know that. But go hunting, you might find something this nice. Uh, they no longer have them because she went back to try to get some more for her and they were sold out. Oh, maybe I should leave it up here, it's easier to shoot. And this also is an inspired piece, and I love it. Now, keep in mind that it's not mine. That's my daughter's, but she let me borrow it. That's what I said was great. She's letting me borrow a lot of her nice things. But all these pieces are going to work great. And the doilies I got are going to work great with these pieces, too, because they're not a real true white white. And it will be perfect. And, of course, Grandma's favorite butterfly. And her beautiful flowers even if you can't afford to buy much at least buy a couple little things like the flowers a beautiful accent piece anyone can afford them even someone on Social Security and there are other knockoffs out there that are similar but grandma wanted to collect the real thing and that's why she's collecting I'm not collecting everything real, but I am collecting a lot of them. So, I just wanted to share with you how beautiful everything looked. 
this one is beautiful and of course the one with the pumpkins was another of my big favorites you'll be seeing a lot of that in um, august and september and october when i'm doing my halloween table you'll be seeing a lot of them in my halloween tablescapes i hope you are enjoying all these beautiful things that i have found well we're getting ready for Mother's Day.